Hello, everybody. I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com, as I hope you can clearly see from the video. And when I launched this website on a Raspberry Pi running Arch Linux using PyGreen under Python as its web server, I went in full steam ahead and I didn't stop to do much house cleaning. So PyGreen serves the files from whatever directory you're running it from. And I'm running it from what happens to be the home directory of root. Not too much downside to it, except your home directory is used for a number of other things like configuration files of your environment. And I'm at the point where I want to start customizing my Vim. Now, not that I'm a big fan of customizing because I like to be familiar with any system I sit down on with as close to the default as possible. But nonetheless, with such tiny little commands as syntax on in your Vim configuration file, bam, you get color coding. And it makes it so much more pleasant to look at the file. And we would put that in a file called .vimrc in home. There's a couple other places, but that's the most natural place to put it. We're going to stick to the natural things to do because we're on a Raspberry Pi and we don't have to worry about too many other users and switching between alternative configurations. If you want that, you switch SD cards. So if I do an ls to see what's in here, well, you're like, well, where are the configuration files? It just looks like the projects I'm working on plus a file called nohup.out, which I'll talk about a little bit. If I do an ls with the parameters LA, it will show me everything. And there you can see some configuration and history files. The, uh, the Git repository is in there. Uh, a whole bunch of different things. Some info about Vim, but not the Vim config or VimRC. So what we're going to really do is move our web hosting of Mike Levin SEO into either a subdirectory here or into slash var, which is a traditional place for this sort of thing with Apache. But I think a subdirectory of home is, is really just fine. Now, to make sure that I have all the latest, I'm going to do one more git commit, push it up to GitHub, and then pull the project down into a new location stop the web hosting the way it's running now, and then restart it from the new location. So, I used a command called nohup, N-O-H-U-P, to run pygreen so that I could close out of a command window. And that's what's responsible for this nohup.out file. I guess I'll start with that. How do you turn off something that you were running without a command line interface or any sort of GUI where you could drill into menus. Well, it turns out the way you do it in Linux is you just kill the task. And to know what task it is, you need to know its ID. And PS is the way you learn the tasks that are running on your system, but the default PS only shows you of the user that you're currently logged in as. This is running as a system task, so you have to use PS parameters A for all users, U for extended information, and X. And uh, well, that's, that's too much information. Let's just do PUAX, get rid of the extended information. Ah, oh, much prettier. Our task is 31003. So all we do, and I'll do a before and after, Refresh, website's actually there and being hosted. Kill. Whoops, that's my include file from the last thing. 31003. Guess it doesn't hurt to do some real typing. Before, after. This web page is not available. I stopped Pi Green. Now I'm going to do a uh, Let's see, I have to re-add any files I might have changed. I think I might have changed the index file. So git add index.html. Oh, and the foo file. 
git add foo.txt. And I'm sure I'll change the name of that later. Git commit m uh, used Mako templates. That's what we did with the simulation of server side includes. And now we'll do a git push. Voila, I've been going over to GitHub to prove to you with number of commits that it's actually going up there, but I don't think we need to do it this time. All we need to do is another ls, uh, let's see, I'll do an la to see everything. And now I am going to remove everything having to do with this project out here because we don't need it here. rm readme, rm foo, rm images, oh, this is a directory, so rm hyphen r images, rm hyphen r screenshots, rm hyphen r style sheets, index.html, and the no hop thing, we don't really need it. Uh, rm, it's not part of the project, but it serves no purpose here anymore ls hyphen la, we'll see how cleaned up it is. All it has here is the fact that it's a uh, repository uh, and we don't need that. I get rid of the whole git repository, rm hyphen r dot git. Now we'll leave the config, that's probably where our username and, uh, where our username and email address for git is. Uh, and we can tell if it's a directory or not. No, it's not a directory. So I can actually do less dot git config and you can see the contents of it. Like I thought, I gave it my name and email address. It's there, it's global, it belongs in here. I'll do a clear to make it nice to look at again. And now just a normal ls. It looks like a completely empty directory. ls hyphen la. You can see the hidden stuff. It's appropriate to my uh, home directory. But now I'm going to make a subdirectory in here, which is the Mike Levin SEO site. It's like, well, you just deleted everything. This is the beauty, one of the many beauties of Git. So what do we do? I am going to go over to uh, GitHub again. Go into the project. And one of the things it's going to tell me is the path for cloning the project. If you want to clone it, you just use this URL. Copy, go back over here, and if I want to put it in a directory, we just do git clone path mlseo. It'll be in a directory by that name ls to see what's there. Hey, mlseo, cd, ml, seo, ls. There's all our files. We just did a deployment. Um, what next? Well, the nohub command. We'll do a before and after. As you may recall, the site is not found. If you prefix the command you're about to type with no HUP, then you can do your command and it executes. And there we go, it's hosted again. Now, the interesting thing about NOHUP, and I'll show you the task is running now, it's still locked up the terminal, but if I close out of that terminal, if I didn't use the nohup command, this would have stopped hosting. The fact that I did use it means I can log back in. I'll go to 80 by 25 just to have a 80 by 24 to have a traditionally sized console. 
size it up a little. SSH root at 11seo.com. PS hyphen AX. And uh, th there it is again. It's running in the background. There's better ways to do this so that it integrates with the startup and shutdown procedures a little better. Uh, and I'll be covering that in a later video. But for right now, uh, that was huge. What looked so small, changing where something was running. Keep in mind, I did not move files. I deleted them and then pulled down a Git repository again and then just triggered the command to do the hosting from out of that new location. That could have been on a completely different server. So long as the versions of Python were compatible, which is the only dependency it has, oh, and the other handful of things we installed, like PyGreen itself, that are outside of the repository, that is how you can make many instances of this, uh, move it between servers and a whole array of other things in addition to the obvious of just keeping your code safe. So thanks for joining me today and I hope to talk to you again soon and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.